Hey jazz fanatics, this is episode three of how to create jazz arrangements of pop tunes in order to better relate to non-jazz audiences. And if you're an adult student in the New York tri-state area and you want to improve your writing as well as your playing within the context of a regular ongoing small group, then I highly encourage you to visit jazzlabny.com because this is just some of the material that we cover in our advanced sessions. And now, here's my arrangement of Stevie Wonder's Creepin'. And so on. So out of the three arrangements that I've presented so far, I believe this is one that has departed from the original the least. Essentially, I've kept the chord changes the same other than measures 12 and 13 where I gave it more of an augmented sound. But the main difference is, of course, is the groove. Instead of a straight eighth slow groove, I turn it into a 12-8 type groove called a mapale, which is simply an African rhythm that I learned from one of my former drum teachers. On the bridge, the B section, I simply changed it to a swing groove, and then I added a little break in the second bar over the E augmented 7 sharp 9 chord. I added a little bass phrase there just to break things up a little bit. And then the rest of the bridge, except for measure 29 and 30, those are my chord substitutions. Otherwise, I've kept the bridge pretty much the same. Once again, arranging pop tunes to better relate to non-jazz audiences opens them up to hearing what you have to say on your original material and you just might gain a fan or fans that way. Stay tuned for the next episode as I derange Duke Ellington's Solitude. Until next time, this is Jazz Lab NY. <laughs>